Welcome to our Athletic Hall of Fame Assembly. Today we'll be honoring 11 of the finest contributors to the Germantown Academy Athletic Program. This criteria for this impressive group are that they must have either made an outstanding contribution to GA as a superior competitor in GA athletics, a coach who has compiled a distinguished record, or an administrator who made a long-term exemplary contribution to the athletic program. Also, additional consideration will be given to, for continued contributions to society, the community activities, through performance in chosen fields of endeavor, and through advocations which bring credit and, <coughs> and distinction to GA. In order that proper assessment may be made of the nominee, a time, of, a time period of seven years must have elapsed since the completion of the GA experience. Exceptions to the seven-year rule must receive a three-quarters vote by the Hall of Fame Committee. Now, to begin the induction of these impressive people who have made GA such a great place on and off the field, or court, I'm happy to introduce Brian Collier. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it is my pleasure to speak on behalf of the incredible swimmer and scholar Alicia Amasager. Alicia's outstanding achievements at GA and beyond should serve as an inspiration to us all. Throughout her time at GA, Alicia found tremendous success in the pool. A four-time All-American in high school, Alicia dominated the breaststroke, IM, and freestyle events and tallied three school records and five pool records in her time here. In the summer after her sophomore year, Alicia's success brought her to the U.S. Olympic Trials where she raced her way into the semifinals. She later competed at the World Championships as a member of the United States national team, where she placed fifth and sixth overall in her individual medley events. Alicia continued her outstanding swimming career at Princeton University, where she became a 17-time university pool record holder, a seven-time Ivy League record holder, and a 13-time NCAA Division I All-American. A testament to her great success, Alicia was voted Athlete of the Decade by Princeton University's Athletic Department. Alicia graduated from Princeton with a double major in Political Science and Photography, and now lives in New York City, where she coaches at NYU and works for Morgan Stanley in their Investment Management Division. It is my honor to induct Alicia Amasinger into the 2016 class of Germantown Academy's Athletic Hall of Fame. Sorry, I just want to thank Brian for my introduction. He did a wonderful job. I also want to congratulate my fellow 2016 inductees. Your respective accomplishments both on and off the field, pool and court are remarkable, and I'm very honored to share these uh, last two days with you all. And thank you to GA on such a lovely event last night and this morning, and for annually recognizing the achievements of our former student athletes. I think it's a unique event that further crystallizes GA as a special place of education. While I graduated in 2006, there was still a decade of atmospheres to roll through the halls of GA after me, so I always had an excuse to come back. However, when my sister Katie graduated last June, I wondered when I'd be back next. Fortunately, Mr. Fennerty called me a few months later and made that decision pretty easy. Needless to say, GA will always hold a special place in my heart, not only for what it did for me, but for my family as well. I spent most of my speech last night thanking all those who helped support me in my athletic and personal journey, because without them, I would not be playing hooky on a Friday in November, speaking in front of you all. From the current and former teachers here, like Mr. Hill, Mr. Teef, Mr. Peterson, to my, long, uh, my lifelong swim coach, Coach Schulberg, and to my family for their love and support who comforted, who comforted me when they needed it the most, and inspired me when I was down and challenged me to be the better, and I'm forever grateful. My first piece of unsolicited advice, I guarantee the more people you have standing in your proverbial stands, the more success you'll have in life. Also, don't be afraid to thank your parents. I know it's hard and they can be annoying, but your parents become your best friends one day, and I call my mom every day before work. To think that all of you, uh, with the exception of the seniors, were born after 2000 is truly mind-blowing to me and makes me feel very old. 
You'll never know what it's like to go through GA without Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever app you're using. And trust me, I'm not judging you. I spend 30 minutes on a New York City subway, so I use those apps too. But the amazing thing about being young is the beautiful self-confidence that you can accomplish anything, and I love that. The second unsolicited piece of advice, never cease to stop dreaming big. My final unsolicited piece of advice is try to live in the moment. I can still remember the Forest Fest song from fifth grade, the chorus lower school winter song, the Latin, the Latin class poem I had to recite, winning flag day, and fun lunch conversations. We sometimes boggle ourselves down with future goals such as SAT scores, college applications, job promotions, that we forget the amazing opportunities we have here and now. As my college swim coach used to say, yesterday is the history, Tomorrow is a mystery, and te today is a gift, and that's why it's called a present. As I left New York City amid lingering riots outside my building, I found peace knowing I was coming home to GA. GA was a place that accepted me and constantly challenged me. It changed me for the, by for the better by providing me with a world-class education. So thank you all for uh, inducting me into the Hall of Fame, and go GA.